The Naruto universe is huge. There are more layers than an onion and lore that can be a little difficult to parse at times. Plus, there isn't even a proper dating system, so it can often get really hard to figure out the order of specific events. I mean, we all know that the third great ninja war comes after the second, but some of the finer details can be tough to pin down. Don't worry though, I've got ya. Get ready to learn the lore in order thanks to your boy over here on Channel Frederator. Now, keep in mind that a lot of this will be speculation where we're basing stuff off of how old characters are, and it's pretty common for even those ages to be all over the place. It is a wild world indeed. Keep in mind that Kishimoto Sensei wasn't laying this all out to the day while writing his weekly Shonen Jump chapters. He was probably more concerned with how cool his next magic eyeball would be and whether the monkey kaiju would have a fun banana power or not. Unfortunately, he went with not. Despite all of this, I'll do what I can to put together as accurate and coherent a timeline as possible. Get ready to have a Naruto big brain moment. Welcome back to Channel Frederator. Make sure you like this video if you like it and subscribe to our channel for more informative timelines and beyond. Before we get started, I'm going to lay out the way we're dating our calendar here. I'll borrow a term from another well-liked Naruto timeline and start us off with an event akin to the birth of Christ when historians reference BC. Yep, so our year zero is going to correspond with the birth of Naruto. So anything before his birth will be referred to as BNB or before Naruto's birth, and anything after will be ANB, after Naruto's birth. Make sense to you? Sure it does. Let's get going. Approximately 1000 BNB. The Otsutsuki arrive. Ishiki Otsutsuki and his attendant Kaguya arrive on the surface of the planet, where they initiate the growth of a divine tree. Kaguya is intended to be a sacrifice devoured by the tree to facilitate its healthy growth and the production of a chakra fruit to be presented to the main Otsutsuki clan. However, Kaguya's desire for the fruit leads her to betray Ishiki, gravely injuring him. Jigen, a passing monk, saves Ishiki, who then imprints a karma seal on Jigen despite considering him an unworthy vessel. Kaguya hides among humans in the land of ancestors, erasing Emperor Tenji's memory to conceal her origins. She becomes one of his concubines and gains a servant named Aino. As tensions rise with the land of that due to a border dispute, Kaguya becomes pregnant with Emperor Tenji's children. A decree is issued to protect the land of that's representatives during their stay, threatening execution for any attacks. When these representatives menace Kaguya, she defends herself, resulting in pursuit by Tenji's guards and the death of her servant Aino. Fleeing to the mountains, Kaguya consumes the chakra fruit, awakening her Rinne Sharingan. She casts the infinite Tsukiyomi to ensnare those pursuing her, intending to transform them into Zetsu to protect herself from other Otsutsuki. Yet her affection for humanity remains, prompting her to release some and erase their memories, allowing their freedom. Kaguya gives birth to twins, Hagodomo and Hamada, the first to possess her chakra. Hagodomo and Hamada grow up, witnessing their mother's dual reception of reverence and fear. Kaguya's thirst for power drives her to merge with the God Tree, becoming the Ten Tails and attacking the land. The twins employ their powers to use the Six Paths Chibaku Tensei, extracting the chakra from the Ten Tails and sealing its husk on the moon. Before her confinement, Kaguya creates Black Zetsu to carry out her revival. Hagodomo and Hamada each establish clans, with Hamada's group safeguarding the Ten Tails husk on the moon, except for the Hyuga clan. Hagoromo fathers twins, Indra and Ashura, each inheriting a unique aspect of his power. Hagoromo imparts chakra to humanity, teaching them to use it for harmonious connection called Ninshu. His sons, Indra and Ashura, develop contrasting traits. Indra possesses power but seeks revenge, while Ashura is morally superior. Choosing Ashura as his successor and the new Sage of Six Paths sparks Indra's resentment. Indra departs with followers to develop Ninjutsu, a militarized version of Ninshu. As Hagoromo ages, he divides the Ten Tails Chakra into nine beasts as protectors, hidden in temples across the world. Hamada's lineage and the Tensai Gan, safeguarding Earth by harnessing Byakugan, face internal conflict, leaving only Toneri Otsutsuki's ancestors alive on the moon. On Earth, the descendants of Indra and Ashura, the Uchiha and Senju clans, engage in perpetual warfare, losing sight of their initial reasons. Approximately 75 BNB, the Warring States period's closing years. Approximately 25 years before the establishment of the village, with a potential margin of error, Madara Uchiha enters the world as the firstborn to Tajima Uchiha, leader of the Uchiha clan. 
In parallel, Hashirama Senju, the eldest offspring of Butsuma Senju, the head of the Senju clan, is also born. The following year marks the birth of Izuna Uchiha and Tobirama Senju. Tajima goes on to father three more sons, all of whom meet their end in the ongoing war, while Butsuma has two sons that meet a similar fate. Despite their divergent backgrounds, Hashirama and Madara both share a common sentiment towards the war that engulfs their world. They share clandestine conversations, expressing their disillusionment with the ceaseless conflict. Unfortunately, these secret exchanges are discovered by their respective fathers and brothers, leading to a rupture in their camaraderie. Hashirama, determined to salvage their friendship, clashes with Madara, who, in contrast, forsakes their bond and awakens his Sharingan. Their confrontations become recurrent, and as time passes, the mantle of clan head is passed down to them upon the demise of their fathers. As the battles persist, it becomes evident that the Senju are staging a comeback, turning the tide of the war. Izuna, Madara's sole surviving brother, sustains mortal wounds and urges Madara to carry on the Uchiha clan's legacy. In a selfless gesture, he bequeaths his nearly blinded Mongekyo Sharingan to Madara, who accepts it, manifesting the eternal Mongekyo Sharingan. Empowered by his newfound ability and driven by a bottomless well of grief and fury, Madara fuels the conflict further. However, gradually, more Uchiha abandon him, recognizing the futility of the war, and they defect to the Senju side. Despite Hashirama extending multiple offers for peace, primarily in consideration of Izuna, Madara remains steadfast in his defiance and continues to wage war even against insurmountable odds. In due course, Hashirama corners Madara and inquires about the conditions required for reconciliation. Madara's response is that only Hashirama's death could pave the way for peace. Hashirama accepts this and says that he will die. Touched by Hashirama's readiness to sacrifice himself, Madara experiences a profound change of heart. He intervenes to prevent Hashirama from ending his own life and consents to the prospect of peace. Approximately 50 to 43 BNB, the founding of Konoha. Hashirama Senju and Madara Uchiha convene with a sense of camaraderie and decide to unite their clans in the creation of a new village, rekindling their harmonious friendship. Positioned atop a rugged stone precipice that overlooks their fledgling community, they converse about their past and aspirations. Madara, skeptical of their dreams ever materializing, envisions a world where children no longer bear the weight of hastened maturity and the brutality of warfare. While coming up for a name for the village, Madara gazes upon it through descending leaves and christens it Konohagakure, which translates to the village hidden in the leaves. A stone is later designated as Hokage Rock, eventually carved with the visages of the Hokage to symbolize their vigilant guardianship over the village. The inaugural Hokage is yet to be determined. Hashirama extends the offer to Madara, but Tobirama intervenes, suggesting that the first Hokage should be chosen by popular vote. Following this decision, Hashirama emerges as the chosen leader, demonstrating the initial signs of turmoil for Madara. He begins to sense that the Uchiha will be perpetually marginalized by the Senju in silence. During a phase, Madara serves as Hashirama's advisor, striving to maintain peace according to his own methods. Yet, a contrast in their approaches emerges, with Hashirama valuing compassion and respect while Madara fixates solely on strength. Madara resorts to coercing Onoki and Mu of Iwagakure into submission, inadvertently inciting similar actions from other formidable nations. Despite Hashirama's attempts to help Madara overcome his doubts, assuring him of his future as the second Hokage, Madara's influence wanes. His conviction grows firm that the mantle of the second Hokage will inevitably pass to Tobirama. Encountering the Uchiha Stone Tablet, which has been manipulated by Black Zetsu to propagate the notion that peace and Madara's vision could be attained through the infinite Tsukiyomi, he becomes inclined to awaken the Rinnegan for this purpose. Feeling hopeless, Madara endeavors to rally the Uchiha to revolt, but they're hesitant having just emerged from a millennium-long conflict. They don't want another war. Madara ultimately takes matters into his own hands and departs from Konoha. In a series of attempts, he seeks to destroy the village, ultimately returning with the assistance of the Ninetales. Hashirama confronts this new threat, and their prolonged confrontation leaves a lasting mark on the land, shaping the Valley of the End. Their duel extends for over 24 hours, their skills evenly matched. Despite Madara's relentless efforts fueled by his boundless anger, Hashirama's superior endurance prevails. Observing Madara's diminishing strength, Hashirama capitalizes on a moment of vulnerability, using a clever wood clone diversion and fatally striking Madara from behind. However, Madara bites a big chunk of flesh from Hashirama's shoulder before dying. Tobirama examines Madara's body, endeavoring to unlock the secrets of the Sharingan from it, before eventually laying it to rest. 
Unbeknownst to all, Madara had employed a time-delayed Izanagi that rewrites reality to bring him back to life at the cost of one of his Sharingan. He establishes a base at the mountain's graveyard, where he fuses Hashirama's flesh into his own to expedite his healing. Concurrently, Mito Uzumaki seals the Ninetales into her own body, becoming the inaugural Jinchuriki of the fearsome entity. In the same period, Hashirama sets his sights on assembling all the tailed beasts. International tensions escalate, culminating in a Five Kage summit. Hashirama's aspiration is to foster peaceful relations by granting each nation access to a tailed beast for security, thereby promoting balance through mutual fear of destruction. Yet greed takes over, with Tobirama demanding compensation. In response, Suna's first Kazakage requests both monetary resources and additional territory for their tailed beast. The greed exhibited by these negotiations leaves Hashirama disillusioned for seeing a fragile peace that's unlikely to endure. As this goes down, an operative from Takigakure, Kakuzu, is dispatched to assassinate Hashirama. However, the first Hokage manages to fend off this attack and repels Kakuzu. Around this time, the Shinobi Academy is established, and among the first 36 graduates is Hiruzen Sarutobi, approximately 34 BNB, the first Shinobi World War. For the first time since the end of the Warring States period, a major conflict emerges. Hashirama Senju dies as a result, and the title of Hokage is passed down to his brother, Tobirama. He does his best to keep things A-OK -okay between the Uchiha and the rest of Konoha, believing that they should help the village as a whole as opposed to just focusing on their clan. The community involvement would help them feel like they're part of the village, and as such, Tobirama creates the Konoha police force for the Uchiha to run. The Kinkaku force ends up killing Tobirama, which puts the title of third Hokage in possession of Hiruzen Saratobi. He ends the first Shinobi World War with an armistice. 24 BNB, January 25th and July 10th. Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki are born. 14 to 5 BNB, the second Shinobi World War. The tenuous peace, though it endured for a time, suddenly shatters, giving rise to the eruption of the Second Shinobi World War. During this tumultuous period, Hanzo of the Salamander confronts the Konoha forces, leaving a trail of devastation in his wake. Only Jiraiya, Tsunade, and Orochimaru manage to withstand this onslaught, earning them the moniker Konoha's Sanin for their unwavering resistance. Tragedy strikes Tsunade as Don Kato, her beloved, succumbs to battle-induced blood loss, instilling her with hemophobia. Meanwhile, 10-year-old Kushina Uzumaki finds herself chosen as the vessel for Kurama, leading to the passing of the ailing Mito Uzumaki. Around 12 BNB, a grievous mistake by Konoha's shinobi results in the inadvertent demise of Nagato's parents, compelling the young boy to take their lives. Nearly starving, Nagato is ultimately saved by Yahiko and Konin, embarking on a journey to seek training from the Sanin. Jiraiya's decision to remain behind for three years profoundly influences their growth. During this period, Nagato inadvertently employs his Rinnegan to eliminate a threatening shinobi, prompting Jiraiya to recognize their potential and dedicate himself to their instruction as ninja. Simultaneously, Kakashi, Obito, and Rin enroll in the academy. In the following years, Sakumo Hatake faces a heart-wrenching choice between safeguarding his team or fulfilling a mission. Opting for the former results in severe losses for Konoha, leading to public derision and ultimately driving Sakumo into a state of despair, which culminates in his tragic suicide. This profound loss drastically alters Kakashi, causing him to forsake his former creed of friends first in favor of a strict adherence to regulations, hoping to evade his father's grim fate. While an exact timeline remains unclear, the Second Shinobi World War eventually draws to a close, providing only a fleeting respite before the next conflict emerges just a few years later. Amidst these changing times, an aged Madara Uchiha awakens his Rinnegan, but his awakening comes too late for practical use. As a final act, he transplants his Rinnegan into a newborn Nagato, a decision speculated to have taken place around the year 19 BNB. 4 to 1 BNB, the Third Shinobi World War. Another war breaks out. Minato and his squad become Chunin, and Kakashi becomes a Jonin. The Rasengan is developed by Minato, and he teaches it to his mentor, Jiraiya. In hopes of ending the war, Kakashi is selected to lead his team to Kanabi Bridge, while Minato is sent to the front lines. Without their mentor, though, Team Kakashi is in trouble. The enemy captures Rin, but Kakashi decides that they need to move on without her. Obito objects and decides to go rescue her despite his orders. 
The young Uchiha awakens his Sharingan during the skirmish and Kakashi gets his eye destroyed. The duo manages to rescue Rin from her Iwanin captors, but at the cost of Obito being crushed by falling rocks. He pops out one of his freshly awakened Sharingan and gifts it to Kakashi, resulting in Kakashi earning the titles of Kakashi of the Sharingan Eye and Copy Ninja. Minato comes back and carries his busted team to victory. Everyone thinks Obito is dead, but he's actually rescued by Madara, who uses Zetsu Flash, which is largely composed of Hashirama cells, to bring him back from the brink. Rin dies, and Kakashi and Obito awaken their Mangekyo Sharingan. Obito goes back to Madara after witnessing his love's death, and the ancient Uchiha makes him his official successor, entrusting him with his plan before dying of old age. Meanwhile, the Akatsuki are going through some growing pains. Conan gets captured, and the enemy forces Yahiko to commit suicide. This kicks Nagato into overdrive and he awakens his Rinnegan. Nagato's new eye powers bring the ghetto statue around, and he murders all of Ame's forces except for Hanzo. When the Third Shinobi World War ends, Minato claims the title of Fourth Okage and Hiruzen retires. Year 0 to 12 ANB Naruto is born. Gara comes into the world, but the process of sealing Shukaku within his mother during her pregnancy proves fatal, resulting in her demise. Naruto's birth follows, coinciding with Obito's infiltration of the village. Obito kidnaps Kushina after childbirth and extracts Kurama from her. The confrontation culminates in Obito's defeat and Kurama's containment within Naruto, but at the tragic expense of his parents' lives. Kakashi enlists with the Anbu and Root divisions. However, Danzo orders Kakashi to assassinate Hiruzen. Kakashi's allegiance shifts when he betrays Danzo and sides with the third Hokage. Subsequently, Orochimaru departs from the village. A period of peace is established between Konoha and Kumogakure, yet the Hyuga affair disrupts the tranquility. Peace can be restored if Hiyashi Hyuga's body is surrendered to Kumo. Though that doesn't happen, Hizashi's body is offered, eventually mending relations once more. This incident fosters Neji's resentment. In the year 6 A and B, Naruto and Hinata's initial meeting occurs en route to the academy. Itachi becomes a member of Team Ro under Kakashi's leadership. However, he unearths Obito's presence near the Naka Shrine. Following Danzo's orders, Itachi and Obito collaborate to eliminate the Uchiha clan, sparing only Sasuke. The compound witnesses a bloodbath. Sasuke stumbles upon this grim truth, subjected to Itachi's torment through Tsukiyomi. In the aftermath, Sasuke awakens his Sharingan and Itachi departs Konoha. Subsequently, Itachi affiliates with the Akatsuki and partners with Juzo Biwa, who later falls victim to Yagata. Itachi faces an assault by Orochimaru, severing Orochimaru's hand before Orochimaru flees the Akatsuki. Nagato, now known as Pain, annihilates Hanzo and his entire family. Inari and Kaiza cross paths. Gato's ruthless act of killing Kaiza leaves a lasting scar on the citizens of the Land of Waves, particularly Inari. In this time frame, Otogakure is established. On September 10th, 12 ANB, Naruto Uzumaki remains oblivious to the expiration of his milk. 13 ANB, Naruto's story begins. Naruto's skills as a ninja aren't super great, resulting in him failing the academy exams once again. He's sad. Mizuki convinces him to steal the Scroll of Seals, but this is just a big ol' trap. Iruka Umino saves Naruto, who returns the favor by using multi-shadow clone jutsu to kick Mizuki's ass. The young ninja finally becomes a genin and joins Team 7. They barely pass the bell test, but manage to pester their way into a bigger mission. In the Land of Waves, Naruto uses his Jinchuriki powers for the first time and is super confused. Haku, Zabuza, and Gato all die. The Land of Waves, now free to do whatever they want, finish the bridge and name it after Naruto. This mission's success was impressive enough to launch the Green Team 7 right into the Chunin exams. Naruto freaks out during the Forest of Death and awakens his version 1 cloak, and Sasuke gets branded with Orochimaru's Curse Mark of Heaven. Jiraiya shows up and meets Naruto, and the exams are interrupted before the final fight could conclude, with Orochimaru murking his old master, Hiruzen. The lack of Hokage sends Naruto and Jiraiya off to get Tsunade, but they're interrupted by the arrival of Itachi and Kisame. Sasuke gets his butt whooped, and Jiraiya teaches Naruto the Rasengan. Naruto uses this new move against Kabuto, and he convinces Tsunade to come on home and be the fifth Okage. The Sound 4 convinces Sasuke to leave with them to get stronger, and Naruto and his pals go on a boys trip to get their friend back. Even though they manage to kill all members of the Sound 4, Sasuke wins a 1v1 at the Valley of the End and leaves to join Orochimaru. Naruto doesn't want to be the only guy not training under one of the Sanin, so he and Jiraiya head off to train as well. 14 to 15 A and B. Naruto learns how to make use of his version 1 cloak without any side effects, but can't go version 2 without almost killing his loved ones. Gara is named the next Kazakage and chills out a bit. The Akatsuki start hunting tailed beasts. 
16-17 ANB. Naruto Shippuden Naruto and Jiraiya return to the village. In a playful reunion, Team 7 conducts another bell test that Kakashi abandons, swayed by Naruto's threats of revealing the latest Icha Icha novel's conclusion. Simultaneously, Konohamaru dedicates himself to mastering the Rasengan. However, the tranquility is shattered when news of Gara's abduction arrives. Team 7 embarks on a mission to rescue Gara, but arrives too late, finding that he's lost his tailed beast and his life. Chiyo resurrects Gara, sacrificing her own life in the process. Sasori perishes as well, disclosing Orochimaru's location before he dies. The Tenchi Bridge reconnaissance mission unfolds, with Yamato leading the team, albeit briefly due to a compromised cover. Even though they found Sasuke, Sasuke decides to ally with Orochimaru, causing Team 7 to return defeated. The Akatsuki suppression mission commences, coinciding with Naruto's training to perfect the Rasen Shuriken. Asuma's death happens, prompting Naruto to complete his technique and partake in the mission to eliminate the Akatsuki. He triumphs over Kakazu, while Shikamaru avenges Asuma by severing Hidan's head and entombing him alive. Meanwhile, Sasuke forsakes Orochimaru, slaying him and forming Team Heavy to pursue Itachi. Kabuto enhances himself with Orochimaru's tissue, mastering Sage Mode from the Snake Sages. News arrives that Sasuke has vanquished Orochimaru and he heads towards Itachi. Konoha intercepts Sasuke as he combats Deidara, who ignites an artful explosion to escape death. Manda sustains critical injuries, cursing Sasuke before dying. The anticlimactic battle against Itachi unfolds, concluding in a draw as Itachi's illness takes its toll. Itachi unveils the truth to Sasuke, shifting his vendetta from Itachi to Konoha. Team 7 returns home empty-handed. Jiraiya embarks on a mission to Amegakure for Akatsuki intel, meeting his demise at the hands of Pain and his six paths. Naruto masters Sage Mode on Mount Myoboku, later repelling Pain's attack on Konoha and restoring lives through his sacrifice. Following this battle, Tsunade's in a coma, ushering in Donzo's leadership as the sixth Hokage. Donzo attends the Five Kage Summit, where Naruto bears Karui's assault for protecting Sasuke. Naruto's plea to spare Sasuke falls on deaf ears, culminating in a panic attack. Sasuke assaults the summit, targeting Danzo. He confronts the Raikage, deploying his Mongekyo Sharingan in combat. Obito triggers the fourth Shinobi World War. Sasuke eliminates Danzo, and Naruto confronts Sasuke once more. Their clash ends in a draw, with Sasuke's overused Mongekyo causing blindness and Sakura's attempted assassination poisoning Naruto. Naruto trains with Killer B on an island, while Sasuke implants Itachi's eyes, achieving the eternal Mongekyo Sharingan. Obito strikes a deal with Kabuto to get Ido Tensei on his side. Naruto grapples with his inner darkness, taming Kurama. Tsunade awakens and joins the war. Naruto emerges, uniting the allied shinobi forces against Pain. Itachi's release from Kabuto's control aids the fight against Kabuto. Sasuke and Itachi vanquish Kabuto. Sasuke resurrects Orochimaru, seeking insight from the Ido Tensei of the Four Hokage. Naruto eliminates the Sus Zetsu imposters in the allied shinobi forces. Naruto, aided by Kakashi, faces Obito, uncovering his identity and mission. The Ten Tails is revived, and Madara teams up with Obito. Neji perishes, shielding Naruto. Obito absorbs the Ten Tails. Sasuke arrives with the original four Hokage. United, they extract the Ten Tails from Obito. Obito changes his path, aiming to resurrect the lives lost in the war, only to resurrect Madara due to Black Zetsu's interference. Madara fatally wounds Sasuke, extracting the Ten Tails and Kurama from Naruto. Obito seizes a portion of the Ten Tails and Kurama's Yin Hat, sealing them within Naruto. Both Naruto and Sasuke receive visions of the Sage of Six Paths, gaining his power. Sasuke awakens the Rinnegan, and Naruto taps into Six Paths Sage Mode, jointly battling Madara. Kaguya emerges with Black Zetsu's aid, casting the infinite Tsukiyomi. Team 7, with the help of Sasuke's Susano, eludes its grasp and embarks on a multi-dimensional fight against Kaguya. Obito sacrifices himself to save Naruto. Team 7 seals Kaguya and frees the Tailed Beasts. Afterwards, Sasuke captures the Tailed Beasts and Naruto confronts him at the Valley of the End. During their clash, both lose an arm. Sasuke changes course, releasing the beasts from Chibaku Tensei and breaking the infinite Tsukiyomi. Kakashi pardons Sasuke, who departs to atone for his actions. Kakashi ascends to the role of the 6th Hokage. 19 A and B Naruto, the last movie. A misguided descendant of Hamura, Toneri Otsutsuki, comes up with the idea that he should destroy Earth. He's got to steal Hanabi Hyuga's eyes to make this happen and tries to marry Hinata. Shikamaru puts together a hit squad to rescue the Hyuga sweeties and they all head up to the moon. While there, they find out what Hamada really wanted. Taneri kidnaps Hinata, prompting Naruto to finally realize that he loves her. 
He crashes the wedding and kicks Taneri six ways from Sunday. When he accepts defeat, the Otsutsugi's Tensaigon fade away. However, he has one last kick at the can and tries to steal all of the Byakugan on the moon. This doesn't work. Naruto, being a pure and sweet lad, ends up saving Taneri and showing him what Hamada actually wanted. Taneri sticks around on the moon and Naruto and Hinata get married. Boruto follows soon after. And there you have it. Naruto and all of the requisite lore summed up in what appears to be a pretty straight and narrow timeline. If you notice any mistakes in the continuity or any dates and times that could be a little more clear, well, you get a gold star. This timeline stuff can be tricky, especially when we're working with the mess that is the Naruto-verse. Hopefully you enjoyed this regardless. Did you enjoy our video? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're there, like and subscribe to see more great videos every week. And remember, Frederator loves you.